I don't know about you, but I'm tired of hearing that content is king. We get it. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're still talking about the Altimeter Group's report, the 2021 State of Digital Content. Now, if you missed last week's video, then I would suggest watching that first because we're going through this report and we're talking about the data points, some of the ones that I found interesting, and then I'm gonna provide some context and some best practices on how you might overcome some challenges that the report highlights. So thanks again for tuning in and let's jump into it. All right, so today we're actually gonna cover the organization and governance. So building a governance model around your content strategy and your content team. And I'm really happy that Altimeter um, highlights and asks, asks these questions because they're probably more important than the content marketing and the, and the messaging itself because this is how you bring it to life, organizationally and operationally. And so let's talk through some of these data points um, around responsibility and accountability for content. So um, who is the primary, who is primarily responsible for your digital content strategy? 15% say there's an editorial committee made up of senior leaders um, and implemented by some type of either centralized or decentralized content team. 29% have a dedicated content team that creates the content strategy that gets input from other uh, product teams or product marketing teams, I would say. 31% say a single department such as the brand, social, or digital marketing team is responsible for the overall content strategy. And then 5% do not have a clear content strategy owner Wow, it's 2021, people. Okay, so let's kind of talk about some of these things. And again, you know, I'm not an expert in organizational development, right? That's not my expertise. Although I have helped teams and clients build content and editorial teams. So, you know, whether it's decentralized or centralized, it just depends upon how the entire marketing organization is structured. You know, back in the day, there was what's called the center of excellence. And still today, you know, these brands are creating a content center of excellence, which is really kind of a dedicated content team, which does hit and, and get feedback from different uh, departments within the organization. So I don't know which one the best, I don't know which organization is best for you. Uh, personally, I think having an editorial committee um, is important because then you get the buy-in from senior leaders um, and you can kind of get buy-off in terms of how you want to frame uh, the story, how you want to frame storytelling, um, and then have you know decentralized content teams, uh, whether it's broken down by product or geography or uh, you know business unit if it's a, a, like a software company. So having that decentralization is important because it allows you, the, the content team, to be more ingrained and more embedded within the, the product organization or the business unit and or industry, if that's the case. And uh, it just helps them get smarter. They understand the content better. They are actually part of the product marketing team in many cases. So that is uh, you know one area that I think is, is very, very important, having that decentralization um, that is embedded within that product organization but also having a committee or what I would call a center of excellence so that you know quarterly or monthly or bi-weekly they're meeting and talking about what's working and what's not what stories are driving engagement what stories are driving leads what stories are driving uh, you know um, more impressions etc all of these things that communication that happens internally the collaboration um, amongst uh, different content teams is very important now addressing the fact that five percent do not have a clear content strategy owner it's guys that's not good okay so whoever was that i would be embarrassed to fill out this form uh content is the lifeline into building brand and building you know affinity so if you're not doing that now you have to do it soon um, and hiring somebody to do that first is a great first step and these data points really kind of reinforce what I was saying. You know, there's some content that's outsourced. You know, I mentioned decentralized. I should have said that, that it's more of a, it's a hub and spoke with decentralized, you know, um, liberty to create content on behalf of a product or an audience or a persona. And so, uh, you know, 
holistic, hub and spoke, and then centralized. It's interesting how 50% of those who were surveyed have a kind of a centralized, dedicated content team. Now, I would probably say that those teams in itself do have you know, embedded content strategists in different product organizations or BUs or geographies. And while it's centralized as a reporting structure, you know, that th th these, um, these individuals or small, you know, agile teams are actually sitting with the different product owners and different business units because, um, again, it's kind of a reverse way of looking at what I said earlier around a decentralized model, but, but that allows you to create more content, well, create content that's I would say more relevant when you have a centralized team and there's not there's no embedded um you know or there's not a lot of integration there then it's hard to create content that actually moves the needle but when you're close to the product and you're close to the, the customer um that will allow you to create more relevant content and this last data point around content production is it kind of reinforces again what i was saying around decentralization and how um in order to be in order to you know meet the demand of scale and to meet the, meet the demand, I would say, of the audience also, that uh, content um, strategy teams are becoming more decentralized and living within different geos or geographies, business units, um, you know, brands. If you're like a you know, CPG company, you have the different brands, you have your, your specific content teams that are living there. So um, that's important scale. And I think relevancy are, are probably the most important things when it comes to um, the organization and, and the governance of uh, content strategy teams. And that, my friends, concludes our time together. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for your feedback and conversation as it relates to this report and content in general. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to continue this uh, dialogue around the Altimeter Group and their report they released on the state of digital content for 2021. So uh, until I see you next time, hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week, and I'll talk to you soon.